Hi, Greg Grover, and we're going to show you how easy it is to set up your Wi-Fi from Nova so it's powerful all over. Isn't that right? When you sign up for fibre broadband, you'll receive a twin pack of these little beauties. These are state-of-the-art beacons. They're made by Nokia. You've probably heard of them. They're one of the world's best. What do you reckon, Ginger? My thoughts exactly. Now first, unpack the box labelled number one. That's your first beacon. This beacon needs to be connected via Ethernet to your fibre ONT. That's the optical network terminal. Come on, you knew that. Anyway, it's that little fibre box attached to a wall somewhere in your home. If you're replacing your existing router, you could use the cable already connecting your old router to the ONT. Just unplug the Ethernet cable from your router and plug it into the blue WAN port on the back of beacon number one. But make sure you're using a quality cable. I'd recommend using the cable provided with the beacon. Either way, you need the blue WAN port on beacon number one connected directly to port LAN one or GE1 port on your ONT. Making sure the switch on the base of the beacon is also on. Next, connect the beacon's power plug and flick it on. This light should glow white. Step four is vital. It's cup of coffee time. The beacon's light may flash during setup, but it will turn blue when it's all ready. This can take a few minutes, hence the coffee. How's yours? Step five. Once the light on beacon number one is turned blue, it's time to unpack box number two. Beacon number two is going to help reach that corner of your home that needs better Wi-Fi. It's important to find a good spot for it. For best performance, you want it somewhere high, out in the open, and somewhere towards the area where you need better coverage. You don't want to hide it away in a cupboard, behind furniture, or on the floor in the corner and you definitely don't want it next to anything that will interfere with the signal, like radios, baby monitors, or microwaves. Start by choosing a good location, about halfway between beacon number one and the area of your home that you need a better Wi-Fi signal. You don't want to venture too far from beacon number one though, because you need a strong connection between the two. A 10 meter distance is usually a good place to start. You can always try moving beacon number two to a different spot later on if you find the Wi-Fi still isn't quite reaching where you want it. Just remember, for the best signal, don't hide away your beacons. Keep them out in the open and away from other appliances. Step six, more coffee. Beacon number two's light might also flash and even change color between white and red as it connects to beacon number one. Again, you just need to wait for the light to turn blue which can take a few minutes. Step seven, it's connect to the Wi-Fi time. When both beacons glow blue, your network is ready to go. Connect your laptop, mobile phone, and other devices using the SSID and Wi-Fi key shown here at the base of beacon number one. That's the one connected to your ONT. Step eight, that's it. The only thing left to do now is enjoy your powerful Wi-Fi all over with Nova.